Hey guys, today I'm making a 1950s version of um, Spanish rice and I bet you can't guess what the secret ingredient is. Anyways, we're going to start off with chopping up half of a medium sized onion. We are also going to chop up a half of a red pepper. And then we are going to chop up half of a green pepper. Unfortunately, I could not do anything with this green pepper as it was rotten on the inside. So I decided to just chop up the rest of the red pepper and put it in there. The green pepper actually tastes better, um, but when you can't use it, you can't use it. So just use what you have. Um, right here, we're using some scissors to cut up some pieces of bacon and get that frying. Um, about six or seven slices of bacon works best. You actually want uh, a little bit of grease in this. It helps with the rest of the recipe. You don't want it to stay dry. After we get it about halfway fried up, we are going to add the peppers and the onions. Fry that up, flatten that out. And then what I like to do is uh, I like to sprinkle a little salt on there and put a lid on it. it helps to steep the onions and peppers a little bit, get them to cook a little faster. Stir that up a little bit. And then we are going to add the secret ingredient. Tomato soup. And get you a can of tomato soup dump that in there and as I was noticing that uh, I didn't have quite as much um, fluid in my pan from the peppers and onions and bacon and all that I decided to put a little bit of water in the bottom of the can to put that in there she gotta thin it out just a tiny bit you know to to uh, loosen up the condensed tomato soup and then you're gonna add um, about a half a tablespoon of mustard and about uh, one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. You want to mix that up really, really good. Make sure the all the fluid and the tomatoes and our the tomato soup is mixed in really, really nice and well. And you can already smell it. I can I can smell it from here. It smells awesome. And the next thing we're gonna put in there is one cup of dry cooked rice. I mean, I, I'm not sure how much that turns out to be. What, like two cups, two cups of cooked rice, something like that. Then you're going to go ahead and stir that in, mix it all together. Pretty much that's it. That's all you do. And this is amazing. This is probably the best Spanish rice I have ever had in my life. Like I said, green peppers taste better in it. But I obviously I couldn't, you know, use a rotten green pepper, but here we go. Good old taste test. And thumbs up. Cause it's awesome.